Hey guys, this is Wolf your one and only, and welcome to some Grand Blue Fantasy. Now, I did say we're going to start up a series that's going to be the first episode, even though we did the first stream already. Um, we're going to have to put all this in the playlist when I like think about it. So, remember, Wolf, put it inside of a playlist. But we already finished some of the stories. I already did a summoning on that stream. It was like an hour stream, I'm pretty sure. And there's like a whole registration for this, which I'm probably not going to do just because I've already tried it. It's pretty weird trying to figure it out maybe somebody will create a guide on it or something or probably has i just gotta look around a little bit more uh what's at the town oh just the journal and stuff what's this oh look what i got i got a zephyr feather oh okay i'm just getting feathers here so this game is really like um what can I say? It's really story focused. If you guys are looking for a heavily story focused game, this is definitely one of them. And I'm pretty sure this has been out for like a really long time. And a fun thing is each character that you get, I'm pretty sure has their own like separate story. Yeah, it's pretty much like a Chain Chronicle. If you guys have played that, each character you got had their own story. You guys could pretty much do that for wars and everything. like. I can literally just go in here and just pretty much do her story. So let's do that. Why not? To be honest, I like the look of this character, so that's why I, I'm doing her her story first. <laughs> Words. Ah, so we're curious now. Let's go see who it is or what's going on. Oh, it just looks like a whole bunch of bandits. Why does this face look so familiar? I've seen it on like the most random things ever. God, this... This stupid face reminds me of something, and his face is even stupider. <laughs> God, that's what mercenaries look like? Yeah, that's definitely ruffians. I can say that. Oh, there she is, Bay, And amazing underboob. What? Anywho. What? <laughs> なんか放っておけねえ感じだぜ。やいてめえら。そのねちゃんから離れやがれ。おう。みんな。今日も来てくれてありがとう。ピース。おう、オッケー。私の奥さん、見たい。見たい。毎日見てたら、飽きちゃ
perfect, I guess. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> to be honest, I was going to sit there and see how long the track was, but then I thought to myself, they probably put it on loop. I probably shouldn't. To be honest, her skills aren't half bad. I can say that. She can actually clear early, like, well, early story really easy. Kinda gets me curious at how late game's gonna do with her. あの才能は少し羨ましいな。お、カルメリーナさんがこっちに来ました。Oh, just receive. Okay, so yeah, she is a pretty much a street performer. Oh. Oh, so she has the power to turn, like, passive or invisible, whichever one you want to call it. この町に Okay, so he was just. This guy was like really interested to see her perform. Or both. <laughs> oh my. Come on, man. Girl pair. あなたもね。うん。と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と
No, you'll never stop me. Give her everything. Ah, oh, god darn it. He's gonna get pissed because they're talking because they're calling him a lizard. <laughs> oh, so he actually admits to being a lizard this time, okay. もったいない。こんな才能人に見せなきゃもったいないよ。そうは言ってもよ。俺たちあんまり目立つわけにはいかねえんだよな。うん。目立つのが苦手か。やっぱりもったいない。そうだ。ねえねえ、しばらく私と
お城の豪華な料理も恋しくなったりしちゃうよねあ豪華な料理お城に招かれてディナーちょっと興味ある<笑>女の子だもんね Uh, probably not. That probably wouldn't be a great idea, though. Yeah, <laughs> That's really true. <laughs> But then again, you, you can't really say. At the same time, you can't really say what's normal and what's not just because, as a human, you're doing. Th well, can't even put it on human logic. As a species, you're doing something that. Other species would pretty much do differently. So, technically, it's still normal in a way. They're just achieving higher. Just saying. All right, so that was her story. So you get a little stuff from it. Nothing like too huge. But you also do get uh, crystals for it. Which is actually pretty nice. So I played like two games similar to this in like its style. So it's actually pretty easy to pick up. So I'm gonna go through it and show you guys a few things. Classes, classes are actually pretty straightforward. To get other classes, like advanced classes, you would need a CP, which is this. And that comes from like leveling up or events where they give you CP. Um, right off the bat, you can start off with fighter, knight, priest, and wizard. Then there's thief, um, Enhancer, Grappler, Ranger, Harpist, and Lancer. All of them have different skills for your main character. And your main character changes his look also. Which each thing you like pick. And the more you level up that character, the more stats... Well, hold up. Let me rephrase that. The more you level up the class, the more stats are added on. So if I was to level up Fighter, I would get more attack each level that it like reached um well that's how it would work in other games i'm not sure if it still applies here yeah level bonus i am knight right now so i'm gonna get defense bonus as i level that up and i'm a healer so i would get hp no healing bonus healing as i level up wizard is bonus skill and let's go to roll two Now here's where things can get complicated, but also straightforward at the same time. Warrior. Let's go to that. Your requirements. You would need fighter to level 20 and you would need grappler to level 20. And you would need 200 CP to unlock them. And plus they have a support skill that uh, has a chance of double attack. And here's what I mean about the attack increase and stuff like that. It's really nice to actually level up all the classes. I recommend it just because it gives you like a lot of good stats. Now, if you're wondering if you could change from female to, well, from male to female since you start out as a male or I think you got to choose. It's been a while. Actually, it hasn't even been a while, but you can change at any time. Simple, just go back between the main characters. You can't actually design them in any other way, but they will use the weapon that you choose for them. We go ahead and go to the weapons. 
So this is my weapon I had got from that summoning. These are all the skills that are on it. Sadly, it only boosts like winds and lights. So I'm pretty sure I got some winds and light, don't I? I think I have winds. Yeah, I have a wind and light. Wait, no, that's an earth. What am I talking about? So here's another character. Uh, he dodges all attacks but boosts his attack as well. And plus he blinds at level 25. Which is called Black Down. Um, I gotta get him to level 25 for sure. He earns no more skills from that. I'm pretty sure. Not even if he was to level him up. And that's like 3 he can go. And your summonings are also here as well. Bahamut, which does dark damage to all and increases your attack as his aura. Basically a passive. Alright, let's go to parties. I think that would be better to explain. So here's the whole group. Catalina, she heals and gives one turn immunity to debuffs. And cuts all damage in half. And increases defense for herself. I don't think she does it for the whole party when I think about it. So yeah, there's a lot of things you guys can pretty much do with like the whole team like setups. This is why I love games like this because there's so much you need you can learn from it. And as for my main girl right here. Camelina. <laughs> I have two Lena's in my party. Um, her charge skill, massive damage to one foe, and gains a mirror image. Which I haven't really figured out where mirror image is. I'm pretty sure somebody will help me out and let me know. Um, there's also... Uh, this is the skill I was talking about. Uh, this skill attacks all. It's pretty much clearing pretty easily. And this hits to defense, which I'm pretty sure lowers defense for people and not her. Or just hits to defense itself, like physical, I guess. Not really sure yet. Still trying to figure out the game. And I'm, like I said, I'm not new to the whole, like, style of the game. I'm new to, like, how they're wording this and some of the new effects they, well, different effects they have. Hit to foes, uh, debuff, resist. So this is pretty much open them up to more debuffs, which is going to be really nice. And she resists debuffs. So it's going to be a pretty good build if I can actually get her to max. Now, if you guys want to know how to increase your damage, you do put on uh, other weapons as well. You can go ahead and put on like auto or you can choose it by hand. I say it was better to choose it by hand just because you want to pick like which weapon is going to help you out the most. And I especially recommend you guys build toward, towards like events. Like if there's like a fire event going on, definitely build towards water and carry a water weapon. Just because your weapons deal... Just because this is the wind weapon and it deals wind damage. If I was to change to this, which is light, I would be doing light damage. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You guys can learn that pretty easy. And your summons give you bonus attack and effects as well. So I do recommend you guys... Do that as well. Uh, it says Bahamut. I'm pretty sure it's my strongest one. Yeah, he is my strongest one. I'm going to keep him there. I forgot to change this. I got some little bit of extra stats. I do need to look at classes and see which ones I'm going to have to go for. Or want to go for. Because all different classes have different skills. I'm pretty sure... You do unlock skills and you can put them as sub. Yeah, these are sub skills. So when you unlock them, you can put them on other characters, which is actually really nice. Well, not on other characters. <laughs> Let me rephrase that once again. My apologies. <laughs> um, once you unlock them, you can put them on your other classes. That's, that's pretty much what all of these games have done. And it's actually been working out pretty nice. It's actually really fun to come up with like random builds there's sentinel oh my god there's a lot of different weird ones 
not only that, there, there are like costume changes as well, which is like really nice to see. But in other games, they would have you uh, be able to change out actual characters. I know one of them, I still haven't remembered the name for it, that actually has different characters. Instead of like the same character, but changing clothes. Specialized in poison and stuff like that. Oh, deals a lot of damage. I'm going to try and look for one that does like full on debuffs because I've seen games that have that one because I've seen games that have that one character that just debuffs the hell out of a whole team this is the one that I saw yeah I hit the defense. oh yeah so this is like dropping so that's what hit to attack and defense means okay I get it um what the hell is superstar I see that's what superstar is okay and here's where the higher ones are. There's Spartan, Berserker, jeez, Luchador. There's so many. I would definitely choose that one. No, don't worry. I would definitely change my character to around. Don't don't judge me. Sage. So these are like the strongest ones, pretty much. But there's also extras here, which could. Oh. I guess these could be the strongest one. Gunslinger. I probably would go for Gunslinger. Just because I, you guys know me. I like Gunslingers and Brawlers. Are there any brawling characters here anyway? Dagger, Dagger. Drum Master. Is that like a um, buffer? Buff to crit attack is what I'm guessing... A AC means? Or oh no, charge attack. That's what it is. Whoops. Both the charge attack damage and charge attack cap and chain okay, that's pretty nice. Oh, this increases your charge power. So this guy is just pretty much buffing the hell out of your charge. Like morale boosting you to be able to attack faster. All right, I get it. I get it. This game is going to be interesting. I'll be here for a while. Mystic. Convert charge bar into MP. That could be cool. So, I do want you guys to know that this skill right here, it can't not be put on anything else. It's unique to that character. So you would have to have... Yeah, you would pretty much have to use these. These two. You can't use this on other characters. Why well, I keep saying other characters? Other classes. These are usable on everything else. But yeah, that's basically the game. Uh, I'm going to end it here, guys. I do know we just did like one episode, but I just kind of wanted to explain the game to you guys and how straightforward these type of games can be. And that it's not really all that difficult to learn. Just because when you see all this everywhere, it kind of confuses you. You kind of don't know where to go and everything. I still don't know where to go at, at the moment, but I am figuring it out. It's actually way more simpler than you guys are thinking. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Meanwhile, on the Horror Channel. Seems like there's the last one in there was like, nah, fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh, you little shit. You're just like, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna just transfer it to this pistol you wanted. <laughs>